Cognitive IoT is about enabling current IoT technologies with human-like intelligence. The end goal is to provide expert advice based on the domains being targeted. Cognitive IoT has three key features. Basically, the system understands the domain uh, like a human does. And based on the understanding, you can reason and answer various information about the domain. And uh, third being a continuous learning process to improve the knowledge and answer various other information based on interactions and feedback. Cognitive IoT technologies can be applied on the edge or in the cloud as part of your solution. The first example I like to provide is how to apply cognitive IoT technologies at the cloud for a sports domain. Uh, in a sports domain, uh, there are actually three primary use cases. Learning from an expert or a coach and improving one's game. Personalization, where all the information is personalized to sports person to improve his game. And continuous learning to keep improving based on the current and past records. So I'll talk about an example of a cricket game. Uh, for those who are not aware of cricket, cricket can be viewed as similar to baseball. Uh, both are bat and ball games, but cricket has a lot of variations. The real value that we want to derive is to enable batsmen understand the game better, help them master various batting strokes like cover drive, pull shot, help them analyze their performance continuously to be an expert batsman. For instance, what uh, should it take uh, for a batsman uh, to bat like an icon like Sachin Tendulkar? With respect to the bowler, the bowler would like to understand how well he is bowling, his speed, his run up, the way he delivers the ball. All these insights can help him improve his game continuously and how similar he is bowling to an expert bowler. So how do you go about realizing this use case? Uh, you start with putting embedded devices inside the cricket ball without much increasing the form factor. And uh, there are a lot of regulations on the form factor of cricket balls. So you're looking at minute embedded devices which provides at least uh, six axis sensor for accelerometer and gyroscope to identify any movement in three dimension space. Second is embedded devices on cricket bat, pads, gloves to identify batting strokes and movement. And finally a connected stadium to capture images of batting strokes and bowling movement. For instance, uh, the right uh, posture plays a significant role in delivering a great batting stroke. So combining image and uh, motion data from devices and developing an algorithm to look at both these contexts and provide a recommendation and insight to improve a player's game. From an architecture stack perspective, uh, you have a low powered device which is installed inside the ball or embedded as part of the design and manufacturing process. A motion SDK is installed on the top of the device to identify any movement in general and communicate the reading back to the cloud. In the cloud, we have the learning model or the training data. Basically, we would ask an expert batsman to bat and play various expert strokes like cover drive and record their movements. This would be used as a training test data and comparison would be made against it. Here, we would be comparing 3D models so machine learning approaches like dimension reduction can be employed or many new innovation approaches can be applied to compare and predict two motion in three dimension space. Similarly, training data is captured for an expert bowler along with other contextual information like hand movements, pitch angle and so on. This feedback is continuously captured and system provides guidance for improving a person's game. The player can also track all the information on his mobile also. The same technique and concept can be applied to any sports game to get cognitive insights. At the end, uh, what we are trying to do is to give personalized and continuously expert advice to a sports person to improve his game continuously.